Hello, this is Simplist and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing and giving you my review of the Logitech MX Master 3. The MX Master 3 is a popular choice for modern day setups and there's definitely a good reason why. It's packed full of features and in my opinion it looks great too. I've gone ahead and broken this video into sections and I've detailed them in the timestamps down below should you wish to skip to a particular part of the video. So getting straight on with the unboxing, once we remove the outer box, we have this all black box with the MX branding on the front. Opening this box, we have the included wireless receiver so that we can connect it to our device. Although like the MX keys, the MX Master 3 does connect via Bluetooth as well. We then get another box containing a USB Type-C charging cable, which is always good, and then various bits of warranty information. And then finally, we have the MX Master 3. So first impressions looking at the MX Master 3, I love this graphite colorway. I think it looks really clean. On the top we have the darker grey, almost black colour, which matches the individual keys of its counterpart, the MX keys. Underneath we have this lighter shade of grey, which also matches the frame of the MX keys. And then the chrome detailing of the scroll wheel is also a nice touch, without taking away from the overall theme. Finally we have the Logitech branding at the bottom of the left mouse button. The MX Master 3 weighs approximately 140 grams and it genuinely feels great to handle. The top of the MX Master 3 is made from this softer, almost porous material which in my opinion provides a better overall grip. Hand position feels great and the thumb rest to the left provides additional comfort and support. The battery indicator is placed just above the side scroll so you can easily tell when the MX Master 3 needs charging. Finally, the MX Master 3 is fully wireless enabling you to use the included wireless receiver or you can also connect it via Bluetooth as well. So moving on to the buttons and layout, the buttons across the MX Master 3 provide great feedback. I would say the main left and right click more so than the secondary buttons such as the forwards and backwards buttons. However, overall, I think they work really well. Here, take a listen. The forward and backward buttons are placed just where your thumb would sit which allows for comfortable and easy access. And then you have an additional scroll wheel on the side which provides a horizontal scroll which is great if you do any form of video editing. On the top we have this button that will toggle between ratchet and free spin mode when the mode has been set to fixed which we'll cover later in this video. And then finally we have this button on the bottom of the thumb rest which allows you to hold the button down and use gestures much like you would if you were using your laptop trackpad on a Mac. So if you've seen my review of the MX keys, you will know we looked at Easy Switch, how it works and what a great feature it is. However, if you haven't seen that video, Easy Switch allows you to seamlessly switch between three systems using this button on the bottom of the MX Master 3. I work across two systems during the day, so it's great for my particular setup. Another feature I really like about the MX Master 3 is the flow feature. This will allow you to move the MX Master 3 right up to the edge of your primary display and seamlessly switch it over to another system. You can even copy and paste files as long as you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network. The main scroll wheel on the MX Master 3 contains magnets that allow silent and precise movement between the MX Master 3's ratchet mode and free spin mode. With ratchet mode, you'll subtly feel the individual notches of the scroll wheel for more precise scrolling. And then in free spin mode, the scroll wheel will continuously scroll depending on how much force is applied during the scroll action. Overall, an amazing feature and for me personally, it was worth upgrading for. Here is what the scroll wheel sounds like in both modes. The MX Master 3 is charged via the included USB Type-C cable which is great and doesn't require the mouse to be on its side like the Apple Magic Mouse. In terms of battery life you'll get 70 days of use on a full single charge and around 3 hours of use from a minute of fast charge. I think just over 2 months of use on a full charge is great considering the features you get with the MX Master 3. Much like the MX Keys, you can use the Logitech option software to customise the various buttons of the MX Master 3 to suit your particular workflow. The software also has predefined button layouts for common applications such as Microsoft Word, Premiere and Photoshop. 
and it will also allow you to customize these buttons to suit your specific needs. To configure your custom button layout, you just go to the application menu and choose the application you wish to configure. If your application is not available, you can add it at the bottom. The amount of customization available here is just really good. You can go into a lot of depth and configure the MX Master 3 to your exact liking. So overall, I think the MX Master 3 is a great mouse. It packs plenty of great features and has definitely enhanced my productivity throughout the working day. I think paired with the MS keys, honestly, I can't think of a better keyboard and mouse setup. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. Will you be picking up the MX Master 3? And if so, will you be pairing it with the MX keys or possibly a different keyboard? It would be great to get your thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions at all about the MX Master 3, please let me know and I will try my best to answer them for you. If you enjoy this sort of content, as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also drop a like on this video as it really does help the channel out. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one.